Hello everyone, Pedro with Cinemild. Really excited to be here with the Movi Pro today and talking to you about our second Movi Pro product. Our first Movi Pro product is of course the uh, Ready Rig spindles for those of you who are using it with the Ready Rig. And we have a line of products we call the Pro Dovetail Counterweight System. And we make those for the Ronin, for the Tilt of Gravity, and now we, uh, we also make it for the Movi, the M10, the M5, M15. And now, of course, everyone started asking us, when are you going to have it for the, Pro, for the Movi Pro? And here you have it. Um, I only had a FS700 to demonstrate this today. So I didn't have a particularly uh, heavy lens to put on there. So I actually put a, a, a weight up here. So don't, don't freak out. That's just there to simulate a lot of lens weight and so basically the problem that we're trying to solve with the pro dovetail is naturally you know new gimbal more powerful motors even with the m15 people and our pro dovetail people have been mounting um, you name it anamorphic lenses uh, master primes cook lenses really heavy uh, even panavision uh, really heavy lenses matte boxes Preston Motors. I mean, you look at some of these builds, um, there is no way you would ever be able to balance that on your Movi if it wasn't for our Pro Dovetail system. And really simply, our Pro Dovetail system here, let's take a look. You, first of all, uh, let me point out, uh, we are very well balanced right here. You can see any place I leave the gimbal, it stays. There is no movement. So we are perfectly neutrally balanced you could say there and it stays so important to note we have a very heavy front weight here and what we did here is we have our our counterweights that we threaded into our pro dovetail and so just here in a second i'm going to cut to a close-up and talk a little bit more about about what we did and uh, about the counterweight system how it works if you're not familiar with it but uh, basically, I'm very excited to bring this now to the Movi Pro to allow you to be able to mount much heavier lenses, uh, basically to counteract the front heaviness of some builds. The other thing it helps is you're adding weight in the rear on the bottom, which actually gives you, counteracts the top heaviness you might get, especially with red cameras. Uh, the red camera, the lens mount is actually you know, three or four inches above the bottom of the camera. So any sort of big lens you put on a RED camera really raises the center of gravity of that camera, which means you got to drop down on the tilt arms to get that to balance. In some situations, you may run out of adjustment. And so by using the counterweight on the back, on the bottom, that allows you to counteract that effect and um, regain some adjustment so you can get a perfect balance. So. Well, uh, let me cut to the close-up and give you guys a better look at the Pro Dovetail. Let's just show you real quick a few of the differences from the factory dovetail. Um, as you can see here, first of all, the, um, the rod support that goes into the two threaded holes in the front is the same, a same location on ours. This is the rod support that came with the Movi Pro. It bolts right into our plate. So that is not any different. Um, we have nicely laser etched a little scale here in case you need to mark the position of the camera so you can repeat the location. Um, and as you can see here, the biggest, the biggest difference is we have all these locations to mount either the one inch counterweight or the two inch counterweight. And so I'm gonna show here basically in a, in, a, in a second, the difference of why you may wanna use the one inch or the two inch besides the obvious uh, reason, which is this weighs more. Um, basically this gives you a little bit more clearance when it comes to the tilt. Um, and this is why we gave so many positions across the back is that you may wanna use many of the one inch to give you a little bit more clearance. Um, but uh, the really the, uh, the, the other two main differences here um, on the dovetails is ours is a little bit longer, which on some cameras 
it becomes important because they have, to, especially with a lot of heavy front weight, you have to then slide the camera so far back on the dovetail um, that you need the extra length. Um, the other thing is, is probably the biggest difference is that um, the uh, Movi Pro dovetail, you know, Movi uses these countersunk. That's, that means, that means the uh, tripod screw has, a, has an angle to it. And they do that so that it self-centers. Um, now, of course, it's not a regular tripod screw. And this annoys me a little bit. It's a little bit of a pet peeve because every camera assistant has a bag of tripod screws in a quarter 20 and three eighths. They are all over the set. And these tripod screws with the countersink are a lot more rare. And unless you're a, you know somebody who's always going out with the gimbal, um, you may not have these on set. And so for some reason it gets dropped or it gets lost you then cannot mount your camera. Uh, at the same time, there are tripod screws everywhere on them on most sets and most uh, AC bags. And the other thing they did here, so I'm not a big fan of the countersink. Uh, the other thing they did here is they, they put this, you know, odd shape there. And basically that is to sort of lock the, the screw in place. And, you know, uh, at, at face, that sort of sounds like a good idea, but the problem is every camera has has the two screw holes in, at a different spacing. I mean, everybody, there's no standard. So that's why most tripods do what we did, and they give you a series of slots with a couple of these bridges in between, and that allows you, no matter what your spacing is on the bottom of your camera, you will always find a place to mount it. Um, so a little controversial maybe, we ditched the countersunk screw and we went with regular old tripod screws. Um, basically, this is slotted and it, the tripod screw falls right in there. Any tripod screw on the face of the planet will, will work, quarter 20 or 3 8 You're free to slide that up and down. What we did was essentially uh, make our dovetail a little bit more universal than um, what they did here. And I'm not knocking what they did. It's just, um, you know, I figured I'd do something that I feel is more appropriate that fits more options out there that you might find. I mean, basically, with our dovetail, there won't be a situation where you won't be able to find a screw to mount your camera. And you can see we, we pocketed all this here. We lightened it up quite a bit. Um, this is the first one uh, that has been made here. This is the, this, I just made this today. And we're also going to be pocketing the top here. So it's going to drop a little bit more in weight. So there you have it. Works with the Movi um, rod support. Um, plenty of locations for the weights, which I'm going to show here in a second including on the side. On a side note, if you have a very lightweight camera, you can put the weights from the top to add top weight. So lots of options. And I'm gonna show you real quick here, just a quick look at what it looks like with all the weights on it. Uh, now that you've gotten an overview of the difference between the uh, factory Movi Pro uh, dovetail and our uh, dovetail here it is mounted and in use and uh, you know one of the things as i discussed previously uh, that's a little bit different on this dovetail is this odd shape here in the back and we had to do that because of the uh, sensor box and the power distribution box on the movie pro is rather large and so it does take up a lot of space in this direction and so what happens is once you make the dovetail long and you start to try to add weights to the back and then you attempt to tilt, let's uh, get into it here. So as you can imagine, if we had a much bigger camera, a much heavier front payload here and the camera was farther back, the weights become right here and then 
when you go to try to tilt, they would impact this back spar right here. So a couple things you can do. One of the things is you can use the one inch weight, which obviously sticks down much less and then might allow it to clear that if you're having that problem. Now, the other thing we did is, as you can see here, we are, we are using this feature, is we uh, provided these side port mounting locations. And uh, here, let me unscrew this here so you can get a better look. And so you have the option to also mount the weight on the sides of the uh, on, on the sides of the sensor box here. Now, um, it might be in the way of a cable that you're using, but if it's not, this provides a great location that is not so far back and that will allow you to use the two inch weight and not impact that back spar. So once again, this is the back spar that I'm talking about. And when you go to tilt, you can see here we have plenty of room, but obviously if we had a much bigger camera, um, this would become a problem. And then by allowing us to mount the weight farther forward over here, this gives you more tilt clearance. And of course, we have multiple weight positions across the back. So what you can also do is you can use multiple one inch weights across the back, um, thus giving you more tilt clearance um, and the same weight. Now, you know, one of the things I quickly wanted to show is if we did have a very heavy lens here, say like a, a Master Prime or a Cook and a matte box, um, you would have to add quite a bit of counterweight. So one of the things I wanted to demonstrate really quickly is the amount of counterweight that this plate will support. It's quite a lot, uh, more than probably most of you, you will ever use, but it's important to point out the capability of the system. Um, you know, the Movi Pro is, uh, does have strong motors and I have seen some pretty, uh, we have the pretty insane builds on the M15. We, we do make a pro dovetail for the M15 also. And, um, so here you go. So this is only to illustrate really the amount of counterweight you could put on here. So there you see you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these two inch weights. Now, of course, these are all threaded on the bottom. So you can come with, uh, you can, you know, you might have to trim, you know, so they thread into each other. So you can put even more weight on there if you want. Now, of course, they start, that starts to get rather long and then you run into the problem I mentioned. So right here, interesting to note the two inch and the one inch in this case, still clear. Um, also dropping this down will affect that and you know, lots of things. But the main thing um, I wanted to point out is the amount of counterweight that you could put is pretty ridiculous. Uh, not that you'd ever use that much, but for example, if you're using these side ports, you're not going to be able to um, you're not going to be able to put the weight there because the cable is going to be in the way. So you just pull it off. You rely on these other weight positions to give you the counterbalance you need. And so, anyways, this was just a, a, a quick overview here of the Pro Dovetail system. And uh, thanks, thanks for watching. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that a uh, little bit closer look at uh, the different uh, things you can do with the Movi Pro Dovetail. And, um, Really excited to bring this to you guys. I'm excited to see the builds you guys are gonna put on your Movi Pros. 
And uh, once again, uh, we will be actually making the counterweights now in a couple other sizes as well. But uh, at the moment, it's the one inch and the two inch counterweight. And uh, you already saw all the different configurations you can run. But uh, if you have any questions, feel free to send us an email at sales at cinemill.com. Go ahead, check out our website at cinemill.com. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram. We do all of our uh, product release announcements on there. We share a lot of customer photos, gives you some idea of uh, you know how many weights somebody used with a with a uh, with a certain build and how people are rigging, you know. And you see here we have our uh, our um, swivel system, and there's just lots of cool stuff on there. Uh, I think you guys will enjoy following us, and. Uh, all right, have a great shoot and enjoy your new Movie Pro and uh, see you on set. Thank you.